All right. Today we're going to learn how to calibrate a micrometer. This is a typical outside micrometer. Uh, this is a one-inch mic because it goes zero to one. It is a Mitutoyo. This is a two-inch mic because it goes from one to two. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, you've noticed that I have two different wrenches here. I have the silver wrench for the Mitutoyo. Black wrenches for the Sterrett. It's kind of like Ford and Chevy. They like their own parts, their own tools. So let's pick this micrometer up. And what I'll do first off is I'll actually knock it out of calibration. So let me knock it out of calibration. And you can see that there's a little hole in the back. And what I'm going to do is take this hook and put it in that hole. And I can just twist the sleeve. See, that's the sleeve or the barrel. It's called either one. And I want to check it in two different locations. So I'm going to spin it all the way closed. And you see that it's actually reading two thousandths when it's closed. And normally we'll want to take a piece of paper. Let me grab a piece of paper. And let me put a piece of paper in here like this. I close it, snug it up on it, and pull it off. That gets away any grit or grease. So it looks like I'm still about two thousandths of an inch when it's closed. And, and if you went to make a part and measure it with this, that would be what we call a bad thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to just take and we're going to spin this sleeve back around until it lands up with a zero. And this one's hard to turn up. And I went a little bit too far. Some are easier than others. This one's a little bit stubborn. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is spin it back just a little bit. Try to get it lined up. And that looks pretty good. See when I'm at zero, and it doesn't have the ratchet stop on this one. Okay, this does not have the ratchet stop, so we just want to put a little pressure on it. It's not a C clamp, uh, it's not a crescent wrench, it's not a vice grip. Take it very easy on this thing. It is a precision measurement instrument. So I'm at zero here. So now what I want to do, I can either use my palm or my forearm to spin it open rapidly. Now what we don't do is we don't twirl. Don't ever twirl a mic. It's not good for the threads and you will ruin it. These things are very expensive. So we don't want to tear them up. Several standards available. This is a one inch standard. And we see that with the one inch standard, we are dead on this reference or datum line and the zero on the thimble. I see that my veneer scale is zero, and then it's zero here, so that's, this micrometer is now calibrated. But there are different ways to calibrate it. Sterrett likes to use these little uh, calibration standards. You can see it says Sterrett on it, but they're rounded. I really don't care for those that much, but sometimes we do what we do. Okay, so you can see it's still at one inch. Oftentimes I will use a gauge block to check the uh, calibration of a mic. You can see it's at one inch. So you always want to check it closed and open. Sometimes if the mic has been dropped or damaged or the threads have been damaged, it may read zero at one end and maybe a couple tenths off at the other. That's when the micrometer needs to be tossed or repaired. Okay. So this is the standard one inch micrometer. The frame is here. It's forged. Um, alloy steel. It has a fixed anvil with a carbide tip. You see the dark gray change there. This is the spindle that turns here. This is the lock. It's got a lever lock. Some have a ring lock. I see the sleeve of the barrel right here and this is the thimble. The thimble has 25 um, thousandths on it because it takes 40 revolutions to go one inch. Okay, so let's look at the bigger outside micrometer. This one is a Sterrett, so we want to check it all the way closed. Well, it's a little bit difficult because when it's all the way closed, there's still space there. So what we have to do, we have to check it with a one inch standard. And that one looks very good. But let me knock it out just so we can check it. And this Sterrett tool looks like this. We put it in the, in the little notch and we give it a little tug. Okay, so now let's see how much I moved it out. I moved it out about one thousandth. Now we're one thousandth shy. I need to move the sleeve clockwise about one thousandth. And these are a little bit easier to see. Okay, you can see what I'm doing. 
I hope you can see what I'm doing. You can see I'm moving the sleeve until the lines line up. Okay, my reference line on the sleeve and the zero line on the thimble are aligned. I can check it with that standard, the Sterrett standard, or the one inch gauge block, which is my personal preference. But then I need to check it all the way open. So I'm going to take my forearm or my palm and I'm going to open it up a little bit further than one inch. See how I'm holding it? You can hold these with uh, your fingers like this. Okay. So let's see. Now let's get this thing, if I can get my fat fingers to reach. We're going to squeeze it down and not squeeze it. I said that wrong, didn't I? Uh, we have one inch. Actually, that's two inches. Okay, it's a one to two inch mic, so we call it a two inch mic. Reference line is lined up with a zero on the thimble, so that is good. This micrometer is now calibrated. It's ready to be used. But don't ever pick one up out of the, the tool room and assume that it's ready to go because someone may have dropped it. They may have knocked it out of calibration and just stuck it back in the tool room in the box. So anytime you use it, make sure you calibrate it first. Okay, so now let me show you a little bit about how to use this micrometer. This one's a little bigger, so I'm going to use two fingers in it. Okay, say if I want to measure this part, I'm just going to lightly snug it on there, just like that. And it looks like the diameter of this part is going to be 725.50, and then I see 75, so it looks like it's going to be uh, 1 inch, 776 thousandths. Okay, so that's how we would measure this. We, we put it on. Now, if I'm going to measure something smaller, say this block thickness, I'm going to just put my little finger through here, and I'm going to come down on my work, and I'm going to check it just like this. I'm not going to crank on it. I'm just going to barely snug up against it, pull it off, and it looks like I'm going to be uh, 350 thousandths, and so many tenths, it looks like the line lines up for the five tenths. So it looks like 350 thousandths and five tenths. That's how we say it as a machinist. So that's how we calibrate and basically use the micrometers. I uh, hope it goes well with you in lab. I'll be there with you if you have questions. So I'll see you on Monday or Wednesday.